if you have a husband and he comes home one day and tells you that he wants to fast forward his destiny. When I say fast forward his destiny as a money ritual. Okay, he's not going to use you. He's not going to use your children. But he's going to use himself. Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, I'm listening to you, lady. I am. He's going to use himself. Mm-hmm. That is, he's down below. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So what he's, he's trying to tell you is that if you want to stay, you stay. If you want to leave, you leave. But without his kids. His great grandfather died wretched. His grandfather died wretched. His father died wretched. He doesn't intend to die wretched. What do you do? What do you do? Is this your yeah. story? I just want to. What can that woman do? He's, give, he's just giving you an option. If you want to stay, you stay. Who is the woman? I would you love stay. to speak with the woman. Are you not the woman? All right. Um, well, I wish I had the opportunity to speak with that woman because this would be choice based. I don't know that the right question is what can the woman do? This is not, we can approach this as though we're approaching, um, even if we had to talk about breakfast, for example, like what do you eat for breakfast? Chances are you eat what you like for breakfast, isn't it? And so what can the woman do? I doubt is the right question is more. What is the woman? Who does she believe she is? What does she stand for? Because she might be as corrupt as the guy. Am I supposed to tell her to act differently if she's equally as vile as the man? If she is more desperate for evil than she is for good? I mean, if she wants it as bad as he does, what use is my... What am I supposed to say to her? I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. I want to reference a, a message I have here on WhatsApp and link it to this caller who just called in. On WhatsApp, someone says to me, Is it possible for humans to claim imperfection for doing something wrong, whereby the creator that created human is perfect? Because humans are created in the creator's image. So I'm so ma'am, is there any word like imperfection amongst humans? So one grammatically in your dictionary, there is a word as imperfection. Psychologically, I do not think that imperfection is a direct consequence of the knowledge of the fruit of good and evil. Imperfection is not where you go to first. Imperfection is a consequence of something. So it's like saying that the fruit of the knowledge, in my words, I would say that the fruit of the knowledge of the of good and evil has a seed and the seed is choice. So you, once upon a time, the gods told you what evil was. Now you have become, as the gods, you know what evil is. So you have to do as the god would, or as the gods would. You choose. So what becomes of your choice is where we say perfect or imperfect. So if you had a Samsung phone and it blew up, it's a Samsung phone, right? But it blew up. That would be a consequence of something and so you you call a blowing up imperfection right but if it doesn't if it worked as the manufacturers intended then you would say perfect wouldn't you so imperfection is not the first question the first question is choice so to the woman whose husband has said to her i want to use my power i have chosen so this remember that the active word here is choice i have chosen to use my power to procreate as a sacrifice on another altar somewhere in exchange for money. That is choice. He's giving something for something. And the consequence of choice is many things. One would be imperfection. Confessions Thursday. 